Yo, what's going on, everybody? Damn, that was long. Jason Trio here, Vitrio.com. Today is Monday, May 3rd, 2021. You know how we be doing over here? We multitasking. So I'm just looking at the crypto markets. And Ethereum is pumping. Ethereum is on the pump. Pumpity pump. Now, I switched out some ETH for Bitcoin at 0. 0.025. Yeah, damn. And I was happy as hell about it, though. Not even going to lie. And now it's at 0. 0.053. So I'm doing the same thing. I am swapping my ETH out for that Bitcoin. And one of the things, you know, the, the dollar price is going up. I wanted to make a separate video about this, but I guess I'll just talk about it here. And maybe I will just make a separate video about it. But this is what is confusing everybody. And this is what's going to happen. Like, so the dollar is just breaking out. It's going way up. You see the blue line is the dollar. So ETH price is going way up in the dollar. But look at it in Bitcoin. It's 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 coming up a little bit, but it's still super low from where it was. So if you got in here <clears throat> with your Bitcoin when it was 0.138 sats for in Ethereum and it was only $372 in ETH, you know, it really depends how you get in. Like if you're buying Ethereum with the US dollars, then you're cool. This doesn't apply to you. But if you bought ETH with Bitcoin and now you're getting excited because the dollar's pumping up, you got to look at the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin chart is this. It depends what you bought it with. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's confusing. Like with SLP, SLP is on the pump. So you see SLP, it's a little bit down, but it's still high 10,000 Vitalix. That's why I don't even really look at this dollar, this dollar price right here. Because I didn't buy it with dollars. <laughs> I mean, if you bought it with dollars, cool. But here's the same thing that's happening right here. Look, the US dollar, boom, the blue line all the way up. But the Ethereum line all the way down. You know, it's going up, but still, it's still super low. So it depends what you got in and what you bought with is what you need to pay attention to when you're calculating your gains or your losses. Because there's a lot of shit that you get in with Ethereum or Bitcoin and the US dollar price goes up, but the Bitcoin or Ethereum equivalent is, is low. It's you lost. So that's just one thing, you know, figure that out. So I'm happy to get out of Ethereum for Bitcoin. And that's what I'm doing. All right. So we have some Axie talk going on here. Ooh, look at this guy i like this dude that dude's nice holy shit 900 bucks but damn it's a good axie i like that motherfucker oh shit I, you know i wish he didn't have serious he'd be better if he had something else goldfish hot butt antenna Ooh, that's nice all right but i picked up uh an axie just now couldn't resist he had four breeds. I'm not happy about it. He's got four breeds, but for 0.1 ETH, you know, look at him, dude. I mean, he's a fuzzy. That's really what it is. You know, I had to get a fuzzy. Those fuzzies. Those fuzzies are the best, dude. Those fuzzy fuzzy. So yeah, with this SLP, dude, I, I hope the SLP can just stay up. Like, if it stays the smooth love potion, if it stays at, like, a quarter, dude, we're good, dude. We're good. Stay at a quarter or higher, you know, a quarter minimum for the next five years, ten years. <laughs> Just stay at a quarter or higher, and we are good. We're straight, bro. Play to earn is here. Play to earn has arrived, and it will stay if we could keep Smooth Love Potion at or above a quarter. That shit's going to be badass, dude. People are going to be making fucking dough. And I hope the Axie team, and I think the Axie team will, I predict these things. 
they're gonna increase the amount of love potion it takes so right now i only have 3300 love potion and i need to make a shitload of breeds i got all these breeds coming out dude i got like a page and a half full of breeds and what are we looking at when are these breeds coming through may 4th 7 57 p.m so in about a day and a half i'm just gonna have a shitload of breeds popping popping then my plan is so i'm gonna have like 41 breeds i think it is then i'm gonna take all those breeds all those babies and i'm gonna breed them again so i'm gonna need a shitload of stuff and right now is the time to do it because i'm telling y'all they're gonna increase the amount of slp needed for breeds and they have to do it otherwise the market's going to be flooded increase the amount of slp needed for breeds double it triple it quadruple it something got to go up and make a sink a axi sink where you could burn your axi send your axis off to axi heaven and get slp or access token or wrapped eth they won't do eth but they'll do access token probably send your send your axi off into axi heaven and you get three wrap three access token two access token one access token i don't know one's kind of cheap but maybe that's what they'll do maybe they'll just do one not sure but i'm definitely excited about this shit yeah 1.3 eth dude and what am I gonna do with that shit? You know what I'm gonna do with that shit. BTC, baby. You know what I'm gonna do with that shit. All day. What was it? That shit was a lot higher than that. It's slowly going away. And I'm happy. Hey, you getting fucking ETH? You getting fucking Bitcoin? For Ethereum at 0 0.05? Holy shit. 0 0.05? Yeah. I'm hungry for that. But like I said, let it just let it last a few years and we are good. I mean, it's going to be the, the dollar is just going to keep going up. So that that's good as far as longevity. The problem with that is you're going to you're going to need more and more as the dollar goes up. You're going to need more and more to pay for all your shit, to pay for your bills, pay for your food. <laughs> you're going to need more and more. All right, let's see what we got going on here in the axie game all right so we can't claim i don't think actually let me see if i can claim tokens yet no claim slp coming soon all right let's see though if my axes can sink my axes gonna sink though oh they're not so that new bird i bought i can't play oh and i bought somebody else too hold up hold up so yeah, you can't claim. But I bought somebody else from RC Tech. RC hooked me up, dude. I'm surprised nobody freaking bought this dude. Like, what? Now look, he's not the best, but he's damn good. Check this dude out. Toothless Bite? Babylonia? Toothless Bite Babylonia, dude. Babylonia deals 130% damage when attacking an idle target. That's good. Plus swallow. Got early bird here. Deal 120% damage if this attack actually attacks first. Just make this guy your fastest on the team. Or if he's not the fastest, you know, he has to attack first. Plus scale dart. Not great. Draw a card if target is in the last stand. You know, that's not the best card, but it bangs for 120. 30 shield. Pretty decent stats. And it's on class with the aqua. So you get the boost there. This card's good. 0.075 i'm happy and i'm surprised that nobody bought it i was looking at this card like what this guy's actually good now the one knock on him is that he doesn't really match up well against opposing aquas because he has two reptile moves here so he's slow he's not 57 speed he's 53 speed but I still, even with all that, I still think he's good. He matches up well against birds. 
he matches up well against bugs and beasts obviously and one of the things you see people that are starting to do is they're running those bugs in the back <laughs> right on cue there's one but that's not actually the, the exact bug they're running the bugs with snail shell bait and all yeah these bugs right here this is becoming really popular in the back and how they protect this axie sometimes they put him in the middle but i've been seeing him in the back a lot and how they protect this axie is they'll just run a reptile that's faster or an aquatic that's faster so little owl can't touch this guy little owl can't touch this dude but toothless bite we don't care what your speed is toothless bite goes right to the back line now, of course, there's some game that's going on here. You know, if you think that that aqua is going to come dive you, play a single snail shell, play a single bait. You know, you have some defense, but that's the game. You know, then it makes it a game. If the, oppo if the opponent only has a little owl bird with a beast and a plant or something like that, this bug is safe all day. He could just sit back there, discard, discard 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 and he saves his defense up for the end of the game with a toothless bite backdoor banger you don't get to do that so you gotta guess you know you gotta be like oh he's coming so you gotta play a snail shell out of nowhere and hit the tank with a snail shell oh he didn't come he didn't attack i just wasted an energy i just wasted a card you play a bait look it hits for 40 snail shell hits for 60 bait you're wasting your shit you know what i'm saying you're trying to guess it's good when it works but that toothless bite applies that pressure and that's what i was saying about the toothless bite bird that i sent out to one of my scholars let's see toothless bite the balloon bird balloon i think he has early bird estral super strong super And look, it's one of a kind. It's one of a kind. There's no act. This is the only axie that's built like this. So it's it's a rare axie. It's one of a kind. And it's damn good. So this player messaged me like, oh, I hope I don't get blown up by the balloon. Nah, dude. I mean, look, each card, you know, this is how the game should be. This is how the meta should be. There's a strength and a weakness to everything. Sure, this bird is a little bit weak to little 61 speed little out birds but it's super strong against bugs beasts in the back where they got the reptile faster than the beast or the or the bug where you can't get to it where the little owl can't get to that you know the little owl bird is gonna be stuck attacking the reptile or the aqua that's in the midline this bird doesn't care about that i mean it is curtains it is curtains when you match up with this team when you got this freaking bird on your team or a little owl smacker like this bird and there's a beast or a bug in the back it is curtains you should just be waiting to accumulate cards on this bird and be like yo once i do i am fucking that backliner up he's dead it's auto dead especially if it's in a beast in the back i think like tree or somebody else used to run and probably still does they used to run this beast in the back and you couldn't get to it because it, i think it was plant plant beast but you couldn't get to it because one of the plants was faster than the beast it was dual blade cotton tail let's see dual blade cotton tail i think goda and then arrow i think he had arrow and it's, it's a nasty card This is it right here. See who it was. Tree. Yeah, it was Tree. So he runs this dude in the back. Now, Little Al can't get to this dude because his midliner is faster or his main tank, whoever is faster. And this dude just sits back there and chomps the shit out of your plant. 
he's gaining energy he's destroying energy and he's just blowing your plan up safe from little al all day now if you face up against this team with that toothless bite bird or even that aqua that i got you're fucking licking your chops you're like oh shit this beast i'm about to fuck this beast up the beast is done so there's that's, that's the strategy don't be scared because you're weak to little to little out birds you're strong against other comps that little out birds are not good against and that's the way it should be you know and that's the way i like to build my teams like i like to mix my teams up and i'm gonna be making some more turn up teams too because all these birds out there hey you got a bird you know i think taki i made i got him with, with a a turn up ranchu cactus he's gonna be fucking birds up cactus yo turn up cactus that's a sick combo see if we can find anything out there turn up cactus so type in prickly just so you can get the uh santa's gift in case it's out there you know so look at this dude this dude's pretty this dude's actually really good you know he's almost great but he's got bad eyes and ears he's pretty good though guys yeah bad mouth here i mean these guys are good these guys are decent i kind of like this guy and he's going down in price yeah 37 speed kataro though Kind of a stickler for that you know like 33 speed is the highest i want to go on a kataro 32 speed and i you know that's what i love that's what i want that's a perfect kataro 32 speed but i will allow a 33 speed kataro 33 speeds okay it's good no 33 speeds good good enough but 37 speed and this guy has to be a backliner with the tiny swing Plus, yeah, see, so if you're going to do Kataro Cactus, you really don't want it. To, you really only want it to be 33, 32 speed, 37 speed with Cactus. You're probably going to have a slower main tank. And then you could say, well, just put this guy as your main tank. But then you got Tiny Swing. So you really don't want this dude's main tank. He's good. He definitely smashes birds. It's just not ideal. And when you're spending three hundred and thirty dollars. Oh, man. You kind of got to be picky when you're spending money like that. But yeah, that's that's the combo, dude. Actually, that is the combo. Let's see a Kataro. And we put some stats in here. 32 speed. I think uh, who bought one? Somebody bought one not too long ago. I think it was Axe. Axe bought one from... Who do you buy it from? Somebody was out there putting out cards like it was for 0.2 ETH. I remember he bought it for. And it was uh who was that dude that was out there? He was just putting out a bunch of good cards. Yeah, it's one of these. Did he have carrot? Yeah, he, he I think that that dude that I'm thinking of, he bred all these cards. I remember because I was thinking like damn, and they were all virgins too. He was selling them all for virgin. 0.2 ETH. And fluffies, look at this. So this is really good here. Nasty, actually. Who the hell was it? Who was selling? I can't remember. But yeah, this is really good. So there's a counter for the birds. And then, you know, I think maybe a little bit of an untapped strategy counter for the Uki. Was it Uki? Uki, it comes to mind. Who was selling? I don't know. Somebody was selling these things though. Razor bite. Now watering can razor bite. You know that that's another combo that'll smash aquas. And this is what I want to see. You know, I want to see this. I want to build these teams. Oh my goodness! Look at this dude. This dude's actually pretty good. He's got bait as well. Damn bait. Watering can yeah, watering can bait is actually really nice combo. This guy's good. Yeah, this guy is definitely sweet. 
going up in price 400 bucks though anti-aqua tank yeah i gave somebody one of my scholars has a watering can this is a good combo too watering can bait i think two of my scholars might actually have this so watering can bait oh no i put watermelon no watering See? I mean, it's rare. Look at it. Ain't nobody selling that shit, dude. The market. Here he is right here. Check him out. Mary Tank. Watering can bait. Both of my scholars. I got two scholars with this combo. So here's one. Mary Tank. You know, Axie Kiss, not the best. But he can set up for a back line. If he's getting low on health, leave your opponent Axie Kissed up. Leave him with the death mark on him. Don't use the death mark and then crit him with one of these weak cards these are high shield cards you know this is a very defensive tank here leave the crit on him for one of your back axes to come and clean up i gotta breed this guy he's got zero breeds once they fix that sink issue i'm gonna breed him and then this guy too zero breeds one of my other scholars has this dude watering can bait with goda now watermelon this uh strawberry shortcake sweet party i want this to be buffed i would like to see a shield on it it's just so risky at two energy so i hope that they buff that up and 35 speed he's not bad for a healer he's got zero breeds you know what maybe i just slap maybe i just breed these two together a couple times watering can bait watering can bait just breed them up and try to get another good axie i got somebody like this too on one of my scholars he's got arco serious and what else does he have i think he might have bait is this him no this ain't him yes this is him oh no this is not him i named him gem because i bought him from gem i actually bought him from gem this him i think this is him right here it's crazy how you here he goes yeah here's one of my scholars it's crazy how um you have like you create this lineage when you have axes and you start breeding these axes and you recognize them you're like that's my axie i bred that axie that's my baby and then you just see like his the, the axes lineage just go on and go on the roots it just gets deeper and deeper you'd be like oh i bred that guy oh that guy bought him from me oh then he bred him and then he made this oh wow cool combo you know like all this crazy shit how axie it just gets deeper and deeper <laughs> that shit is crazy dude and it's crazy how you can recognize one of your axes like yeah that's my axie like oh yeah this is my axie right here and check this dude out this dude's nasty too, man. Bait, he's a midliner. He's got Arco, Sirius. Not the best. Sirius, not the best on 49 speed. But if your opponent is passing the turn on you, it's nice to get a steal. Got one on class card with the scale dart here. And he's good. He goes with the Merry Tank. So we got Arco with the Merry Tank. And then we got another Beast move. We got combos. This dude's got combos. I think he's got cute bunny too. So yeah, he's got this guy in the back who I think is underrated. And I also think this card, these cards are going to get buffed too. Butterfly. Look at him. He's like a little, little butterfly, dude. Check him out, dude. Gecko eyes. One of the best eyes. Especially on certain colors like this red with this it looks good and there's other colors too where it looks really cool the gecko so yeah buzz buzz i think that should be buffed and caterpillars i mean if we're talking about the weakest horn it's got to be caterpillars you know one thing you could do as a backliner i was just thinking about this because i wanted to build a dude like this i was actually looking at this axi too this axi is really good too one of the things you could do is on round one when it's one-on-one -on -one, let's say it's like round eight whatever it's just one-on-one -on -one, the first round you play a single grub surprise expecting your opponent to play some shit and have a shield 
you play a single grub surprise fear them for next turn now your opponent's probably going to be faster than you because you're 32 speed and you're leaving your opponent feared so then you could go off and try to beat them down but 43 health not the best and you're a bug what if you're facing a kestrel or a star something that gives zero shield does the star give zero shield star might give 10 shield Let's see what star gives oh his axie got banned ah you bitch i was gonna buy this axie too i was looking at him yeah it gives you 10 shield all right this axie's good what the hell i'd have to get banned dude yeah, that's what i'm saying your shit gets banned dude for 800 days so don't be multi account you know that's why i'm kyc and everybody that's why all the scholars know i got a picture so you just it's just one person per account dude none of that bullshit you know shit will get banned and then then if shit gets banned i'm fucked and then you're fucked you know you don't want to be fucked don't do that don't do that so yeah that dude's cool i'm probably gonna breed this guy up i'll put him together with the other axie scholar and uh maybe i'll have another axie scholar that gets to enjoy watering can bait because what you see a lot of in the arena is plant aqua aqua now let's say you got a tank that has watering can bait you think that aqua is going to want to come smashing into you stunning himself giving you energy i mean you got you got some an upper hand there you got a lot of play and serious he he needed a serious because if he does face a double aqua squad with this watering can bait the opponent probably will pass be reluctant actually what i found is turn one they smash turn one they usually go hard because they're like hey i'm not going to give this guy more turns to draw bait to draw watering can turn one i'm going to smash so what you could do is serious you know you can try to steal but it really all depends what you have and always remember when you have this combo here double bait you have to play one bait with terror chomp and you'll leave your opponents uh feared for two rounds so this is huge too that the terror chomp is the slowest axie on the team so it doesn't break the fear and one of the one of the really good things i like about him is he's 32 speed and i want to find more of this 32 speed cute bunny i probably shouldn't be telling everybody this but this is what i want to find because i think it's a good counter to serious tanks because you're going to see a lot of 31 speed serious tanks so i think a good counter to that is going to be 32 speed cute bunnies preferably tanks is actually what i'm trying to look for 32 speed cute bunny tank because you're like all right you know what you're gonna try to serious me you're gonna try to steal my shit i'm gonna hit you for 120 do damage to you and i'm gonna fear you so let's say you do pumpkin serious fine do it let's say you do serious serious like go ahead knock yourself out you're not doing anything you're feared so i think a 32 speed cute bunny is the way to go now it sucks that Kawhi is you know no longer bred so that it's gonna make it rarer and rarer here's a dude but the double heal is just not great so i really like this guy too he's super expensive but check him out gravel ants another thing i want to explore in the back put some axes in the back to have gravel ant you're gonna see a lot of aquas in the back these days goldfish and what else did they have the upstream swim the tail kui so you got kui goldfish in the back and a lot of them they might have star or aranda and then risky fish so gravel ant kestrel i mean you just totally shut that dude down and one of my axie scholars does have gravel ant scholar or gravel ant kestrel which i picked up for 0.12 ETH. And I'm ready to breed. He's got two breeds, but I'm ready to breed him anyway because I want that combo for myself. There's a lot of combos that I build up here 
and I make for scholars and I want to try it like there's these are things that I want to do and that's also another thing that I want to say too and I always tell my scholars this like yo if the team's not working out just let me know you know I'll change it up let me know I've already done it with uh, at least two of my scholars were like bro this team you know it's not really doing great i'm like all right what's the deal ah it doesn't have enough damage i'm like all right i got you and i switch out a dude put in more damage or oh i don't have any steel you know all right i got you i'll put in a rice or something like that now i do try to build all my teams with rice serious at least one or the other go to something you need you need at least one energy manipulation on my team's so I try to build every single one of my teams with at least one energy manipulation card. And that seems to be good. But yeah, so uh, the m- most recent one, who was it? Uh, so Govs, I remember Govs. I had a dude on for Govs, right? I had Govs' team. And he had... Who did he have? He had somebody. Oh, did I already put it? I already put it on another. I already put him on another team. This Axie. But let's see who he had. Nope, not this one. Who you looking for, Doug? I think it's this guy. Yeah, yeah, this guy. All right, so this Axie right here. He had this Axie. He was like, man, you know, this Axie's just not doing enough damage with the team he had. So I think he had double cottontail so you have double cottontail plus you got snail shell on the back and serious you're like eh, where's my damage kind of lacking so he didn't have the damage so i replaced them with a full damage aqua like all right this dude's not working out bam i'll give you an aqua that has a hundred damage a hundred damage a hundred damage and i think a hundred like I, I gave him a full damage aqua here to replace it he's been killing it ever since And then there was another dude that came to me, the most recent scholar. And, oh, he had the dude, um, who the heck did he have? Let me just see, check this team real quick to make sure I didn't give this dude a low deep, low offensive team. Okay, no, see, no cottontail. So we got, even our plant has a little bit of damage. No serious here. We got Yam Heal, Survivability, no crit, with a Plant Horn that can combo with Sirius to steal. And if that wasn't enough, we got a Rice to go. So Dual Blade, Jaguar Rice, Angry Lamb. I already played with this Axie. I know this dude's a beast. One of my favorite Axies right here. 42 speed, matches up well against opposing your beasts in the midline at 41 speed versus his 42 speed orange man bad so this dude is going to smash so i don't think this guy will have a problem here with this team i actually think this team is going to be very good and this team will get to the one-on-one situation that i want to get to where i think this guy will shine with cottontail serious snail shell and an on class damaging move so you want to attack into me fine i got snail shell you don't want to attack into me that's cool too i'll steal your energy and that's how we're doing it plus hopefully the dudes are poisoned up with yam and it will just help that you know maybe a double yam could be good here but this tank's super strong dude 59 health max health permit tank with a heal just keep them alive just try to keep them alive you got double steal if your opponent's afraid to attack into yam and you can just do it like that all right so for the other dude who hit me up i gave him a full smash oh i know who he had so i was trying something crazy you know how we do over here trying something crazy and i was i gave him this dude as a midliner this is my most recent axie scholar at the time and yeah i mean his damage is just lacking You know, it was something cool that I wanted to try. He was 41 speed, the fastest on the team. He had the bug in the back. Yeah, who did he have? Oh, you know what? This this guy actually has the Kestrel Gravelant that I want. This is what I want right here. And he's got a zero cost card. 
Let's see how rare this is. Kestrel Gravelant. 66. All right, it's not too bad. All right, here he is right here. Check him out. He's a beast. He's a bug. Yeah, here we go. So this is his squad. And he was like, yo, that, uh, that dude, you know, I like, you know, I like what you're trying to do here, bro. But, uh, yeah, it's just lacking a little damage, man. You know, you got that mid midline plant, plant, plant bug. Not really doing it. So I was like, all right, check this out. Try this dude. So hooked him up with a smasher. A banger. Hooked him up with the sake fish. Sakura. Where we got the name. Sake fish. And this dude, just like bro. Fastest on his team, 54 speed. So he gets the flanking smack. 120% damage bonus. And he's just wrecking. He's got the attack plus here when he's attacking the plants. And there you go. Let me just smack in all day. And I bred him four times and I said, be on your way. Be on your way. Swim along, my fish. So now we got four breeds coming from this dude who's going to make four new happy scholars. And I'll just have these aquas, you know, if your team's not great, I'll look to switch your team up. But like I tell all the scholars, don't just try your team. Be like, oh, my team, you know, uh, now nah, you got to play your team for a month, two months. You got to get used to your team because the compositions and the strategies that I come up with, with these teams, they might be a little advanced and you're going to need time to get used to it and work it. I don't like the plant beast bird vanilla team. I make them because they're easy to make. But to me, you know, they're just boring. And if I'm going to have scholarships, I'm going to, I'm going to do a little bit of that. I'm going to do the vanilla, you know, because it's good. It's a good team comp, but I'm also going to take this opportunity when I'm making teams to make shit that I want to try to make shit that I want to play, you know, make some cool shit. You're going to be out there. You're going to have a cool ass team. You know, you're going to be unique. You're going to have a team with a strategy that people might not be ready for or an untapped strategy that people aren't doing yet. Like one right here. So here's another strategy that we got. This full screen. And I want this dude back, actually. I'm going to I'm gonna take this. This is Wisely K, who actually recently said he is having some trouble he's not going to be able to play so i'm gonna take this dude back i got this dude yam go to biden's cactus he is one of a kind look at his plant one of a kind and i want him <laughs> i want him for me i made this team and i was like dude i want to play that i was like yo I had like separation anxiety. I bought this Axie and I put him on the scholarship and I was like, fuck, I want that dude. Look at this guy. He's so good. He's a back Axie. He's devastating. Go to Yam Cactus Biden's what? Now I would say if his eyes were bug eyes, it would be better for me because he would be slower. But I, I mean, he's just still super duper good. And wait till you see this team. This. Who's playing with this? Ain't nobody playing this squad. Ant tanks? So we got a 43 speed tank. Faster than opposing purebred beasts. With an on class high defensive back. That can attack plus your heal. So I would always use <clears throat> your cards in order. So that when you have attack plus... You're hitting with the heal so you can heal better. It also has another heal with the rosebud and ant applying stench to the enemy. So we apply stench to the enemy so that your beast can come through or this dude can come through and just poison everybody up. Now imagine if you had an aqua in the back, hits the dude with ant and it's just this dude just double cactuses for like 170 and smashes yams them up or godas and double cactus so your opponents might try to chill back a little bit but you're not gonna let them because you got goda 
double Gota. You can crit. You don't even have to ant, really. So you got a ton of options here. So this, this team will be available, but I think I'm going to mix this team up because I like this plant so much and I want to take them. I want to take them back. <laughs> I want to use them. I'll do the same with the gravel ant Kestrel too. I mean, that I want to use that too. So if that dude ever tells me that he's, he's ready to trade his squad in or do whatever, I'll probably mix that team up as well and take that gravel ant Kestrel because I want that dude. A lot of backliners that I really like. And just mixing the teams up, man. Making the teams fun. Making the teams interesting. So that the meta could be good, you know? Trying to find a way to break those teams. Now, we got a few. We got a few plant, beast, bird teams. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make more turnips to kill those birds. And I'm going to make more watering can baits or bait razor bite or watering can razor bite to beat up aquatics because you're seeing a lot of plant aquatic aquatic as well. And maybe I'll make a, a double watering can or a double bait team. I already have a double bait team out there who that team should do really well against aquatics. But I'm just going to do more like that. Uh, then it will open it up hopefully hopefully if i do that and more people start doing that and shifting to the current meta it opens it up for beasts and bugs that can beat down because you'll probably start seeing more plants Be uh, oh actually you know what you're gonna start seeing you're gonna start seeing more reptiles that's what you're going to start seeing more of. You're already starting to see a little more reptiles. And you're going to see more and more reptiles to counter the be the bugs. Or not the bugs. The birds and the aquas. You're going to see more reptiles. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. More reptiles on the way. And when you start seeing more reptiles, it's going to open it up for more beasts. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Later!